Okay, everybody, welcome back to Project to Potential. Today, I'm gonna show you how to quickly and simply test for spark and diagnose a bad coil. So, here we have a pressure washer. This can be applied to any small engines. We're gonna start off by taking a spark plug out. So we'll just take this guy out. And so with this pressure washer, we do have a power switch here. So I'll talk about that in a second. Here we have a spark plug, the spark plug. And what we're gonna do, we can just plug this back in and kind of attach it to a ground. So what we're gonna do is kind of attach it to the muffler here. So the power switch is on. And then what we're gonna do, I'm gonna just pull it over, see if we get any spark. So, we aren't getting any spark with the power mm. switch on. So, to bypass the power switch, we are going to take this cover off to get access to the coil. And here you can see we got the wiring for the power switch, off on switch. I'm just gonna rest this right here. Okay, so here we have the ignition coil. Here we have the black wire coming down to the coil and it's attached to this tab. So what I'm gonna do is just pull off this wire from the tab. And what that does is pretty well eliminates the need for a power switch. With that removed, technically we should have spark to the spark plug. We're just gonna set this back on top. So we're gonna put the spark plug back to ground here. Well, in this case, we're gonna use the muffler. So I'm gonna give it a pull. Still no spark. Another test is we could have a bad spark plug. So I'm gonna take the old spark plug out because technically this could be bad. Always put a new spark plug in place just to be sure that it's not just a spark plug issue. So we're gonna put that back in. We're gonna give it a pull. Still no spark. In this case, we're gonna take the cover back off and remove the coil. Oops. Here's the old coil. Okay, here's the new coil. So when you install the coil, you gotta use a um, feeler gauge, 10 thousandths of an inch, between the flywheel and the ignition coil. So this is how you do that. What I do is find the magnet on the, on the flywheel. Mm -hmm. and in this case, it is right here. So I'll put that in line, and then I will slide the ignition coil in and allow the ignition coil to stick to the magnet with the feeler gauge right in between it. This will ensure the 10 thousandths of an inch gap that you need. And then with that still in place, put in your little bolts. And I always start them by hand first, so I know for sure I'm not cross threading them. There you go, I just wanna make sure that that coil is right up against the flywheel with the feeler gauge in between it. And the flywheel, magnet, and the ignition coil. There you go. Turn your flywheel one way or the other. I'll turn it this way actually. And then you can pull your feeler gauge out. There you go. Test the new coil now. And 
slide this right underneath here. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to actually this time, we will reinstall the on off wire onto the tab on the coil. Go right in here. So now let's test the new coil. Okay, we'll just take the new spark plug, put it in here. So with the new spark plug, we'll just put it against the muffler with the on switch and the on position. Mm. Can you see that? Nice, strong, mm. bright spark. So that's how you replace the ignition coil. Now let's just say your ignition coil was in good shape still, but you still weren't getting spark. For example, if the power button was off, you would not be getting spark. To test the wiring system with ignition coil that is good, pull that, pull this black wire off of the tab of the ignition coil, and this will eliminate the power button. So when that is unplugged and you put this back in place, you can see with the power button off, you can see that we're getting spark. So if you want to diagnose a bad wire, that is one way to do it. Because sometimes you leave your equipment over the winter. So I've had it before where mice will come in, fill the nest, chew these wires to bits, exposing the wire underneath the insulation, the insulator. And it will be touching different parts of the engine block causing grounds, which will pretty well um, tell the ignition coil the power button is off. So if you have bad wiring to your switch, the best thing to do is pull this black wire off the ignition coil tab, turn over the engine while the spark plug is on ground and see if you get spark. If you get spark, looking at bad wiring somewhere. That is how I diagnose um, ignition coils and wiring systems simply removing the black wire off the tab of the ignition coil. So I'm gonna get this all back together and we will run the pressure washer just to see how it performs. Just gonna run the wires all back into its original place, making sure everything's moving freely and it's not binding up on anything. Put the cover back on. There we go. Just for good measure, we'll give the customer the new spark plug. Everything back in place. On switch on. Let's give it a pull quick. And there we have our running pressure washer. I don't typically like to run pressure washers without water, but that was just a quick second just to see if it fires. And another thing to remember is when you do, when you are testing the wiring harness on these motors and you do unplug the wire, the black wire from the tab on the ignition coil, you want to be aware that if your ignition coil is working and you're by bypassing the ignition or the uh, on off switch and you try to start it up and it does run, you won't be able to turn it off again. You'll have to have a way to um, turn the engine off. So I don't know, what you could do is take your pliers and just pull the spark plug wire right off of the spark plug itself. Just make sure you're not putting yourself in a dangerous situation. All right, let's go hook this up to the water and give her a quick test run. Okay, so with the hose hooked up to the pressure washer, water on. What I like to do is make sure that the water is completely running through the water pump before you start it up. Let's turn it on.
that's the easiest way to test your ignition coil to see if it is properly functioning. Hope this was helpful to anyone. So I plan to upload more videos related to small engine repair. Hopefully help you guys with fixing your own small engines and diagnosing equipment. Like and subscribe and hopefully we'll see you again in another video. Have a good one.